better try the eyes If you leave me, I could die, I swear You are like the oxygen, I need to survive I'll be honest Your love ain't it, don't leave me I am so obsessed I want to chop your body to Colombia, so quarantine, I can't even say it, I ain't, no, no, Colombia, we're headed to Colombia, and yeah, so we're in the airport in Fort Lauderdale, this was where we had our layover, and today has already been a trying, trying day, like, my, my nerves is already shot, but yeah, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe for more content from me, and make sure y'all turn on y'all notification bell, and remember that you also have to turn on your notifications in your phone to get those notifications okay so yeah but y'all yeah, we uh left left chicago at at 5 a.m this morning and number first thing i did was left all my makeup brushes at home on the counter in the in the kitchen because i was cleaning them and i left them at home so i don't have not now makeup brush and then okay I brought my own liquor. So I, we bought a bottle of Malibu. We bought a bottle of Casamigos and a bottle of Hennessy. Now, when I was at home, I stuck the Hennessy's in what would be a carry-on bag. Well, I stuck the, all the bottles in one of his bags, the bags that he only put his shoes in. And when we got to the airport, we was like, oh, you should just shit that bag. I mean, you should just, you know, carry that bag on as a carry-on since it's so small. Yeah, why we had to throw away all the liquor bottles because it was already too late to go check the bag after we got to security i was like oh well, i'll just go check the bag and when we got there we was like 10 minutes too late for checking so i had to throw all that away that was about 90 dollars worth of liquor i had to throw it away so I've been irritated. Then I had already left my makeup brushes. So then I'm like, okay, when I get to Fort Lauderdale, I'm gonna go buy some brushes. So I'm looking around, looking around. No one sell brushes in the airport except Mac. I go on Mac, I think I get like five or six brushes. $243. And the girl was like, well, why don't you just wait till you get to Columbia? I'm like, this girl, I was looking up makeup stores in Columbia and I seen none. It's, it's terrible and I'm, 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 I'm ready to get on this plane and get to Columbia and I think I'm going to take me a motherfucking nap. But come on y'all, let's go to Columbia with me and I'll see y'all when we arrive. is like a little seating area like a little table area a little another little table it goes up there so you have 
a little closet area. And it also has like a little TV back here. Another little area. A mirror. I think this looks side into the stairs that we took to come up here. Yep. There's the bed outside. This is the bathroom area over here. So you walk in. It's the sink. To I mean toilet, shower area. Yeah. This is our room. It's so cute. You take these stairs to get to the upper part of the suite. Okay, y'all, so this is like the little up, the upper part, our second bedroom. It has like a little bed and a little desk up here. So this, what's up, y'all? We have made it, we have made it to our um, boutique hotel and it's been a long day it is five i think we landed at what one something we landed at one something customs was long but it went fast y'all know how sometimes customs be long and they go slow as hell it was long but it went fast so that wasn't too bad wasn't too bad so then when we got out the whole the, the when we got out of the airport we got a taxi y'all could just get one of the yellow taxis the little ones that says texas i mean taxi authorized and you know most of us are staying in gethsemane or uh oh the walled city so we're like right by the walled city we it, we are in gethsemane so it's supposed to be like a 15 minute ride from here but it literally took us two hours and 30 minutes it was a um it was an accident, so it was like a bad accident or whatever. And we was literally stuck in a line in the taxis outside of the airport for hours. And then finally, I don't know if they got the wreck moved or out of the way or whatever. We finally was able to go, and then it was still traffic. So we finally got here around like four or something. We got checked in. The resort, the the hotel is like a um. It's like a, it's a boutique hotel, so it's like only a few rooms. I think it's only twenty rooms. It's set up as like very, not antique, but um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Like, not old, but it's like vintage. I would say something like that. It's supposed to be like that type of feel, but it is so pretty. Um, I like how the rooms are. We have one of the suites. They do have two bigger suites, but they only have one presidential and one master and i wanted one of them but they was booked up when we booked this so we got one of the, the regular suites but it's still nice they got like a little upstairs or whatever it's like water flowing all throughout the um hotel so that's cute um we're just letting our phones charge up for a little bit and then we're going to go get something to eat at one of the restaurants and then we probably it is raining season so if you if you see here, it was flooded all throughout the city. It was raining really hard. It is raining season. I knew that already. Well, when I first initially booked this trip, I didn't know about a raining season or nothing like that. But, you know, I went and researched after it, like what to do, where to go. And then I found out it was raining season. So I knew it was a possibility that it would rain. But they do also say that it rains like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. But a lot of the streets was like flooded with water and stuff like that. So, yeah. But as our taxi driver said, the rain is romantic. That is cap. But, yeah, we're going to probably go downstairs and see what's on the menu. This is not like an all-inclusive. So, you do have to like, you know, pay for everything. We do have breakfast included, though. That was a part of the deal on Expedia when I... um when i booked uh, this is a high commission one so when i selected this one this one was rated as high commission for travel agents so um i do get a nice chunk of change back from staying here so that's always good but um but yeah pretty much we here we like it it is rainy outside so the sun is not out and I don't like that. 
Even if my name was Nanny Lung, you know, just to chin chin check me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Be back. to go to the volcano um you're gonna get real muddy so i just got on these boy shorts and this tank from victoria uh and i'm just wearing this because i don't want to i only brought two swimsuits and well i brought three swimsuits but i don't want to get them messed up with mud because we still have a boat party tomorrow and we still have a beach club and i still want to get some pictures upstairs so i don't want to get my swimsuits muddy because i should have brought a fourth one but i wasn't thinking but um so yeah, I'm just wearing this because I don't care. We can throw this away after the fact. So yeah, um, I'm gonna throw a dress on over this. But yeah, we're just getting ready. Our ride will be downstairs in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put my braids up in a bun and that. But yeah, that's pretty much today's mission. But yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. About to put on my dress. Give me some uh babe, get that um that shower cap cover. That's in the um, bathroom. Because I'm going to put that on my braids. And yeah, we should be pretty much ready to go. I don't know if I even got a lot of footage yesterday. It was pouring down raining yesterday, so I don't really know. But today it's supposed to rain too. But it is what it is. We just going with the flow. Y'all, we're at the volcano. It's about to start raining though. <laughs> I got my bun, my braids up in this little bun. Los niños se llegan hacia acá. Los niños, los niños. Video, Talking, she got on uh Jose. She got on Jose's shoes, she gonna get foot fungus. It's a long ass walk. She finna get washed in the lakes of Minnetonka. Oh no, she finna get baptized again. These ladies finna play with her booty and all. <laughs> yeah, little girl. I feel like I got some on my lip. You do, you got all kind of shit on your face. <sighs> told you to sit right there? I don't think he told you to sit right there, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. 
clean now. What was it? Fine, she gonna go all in your drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the water feels good. It's not cold. It's not like, you know? Yeah. Woo. What's up, y'all? Um, we are back in the room after a long day of being outside. Um, and our day started, it didn't start that early, but it started kind of early. We had to be downstairs at 9.30 to go to to catch our ride over to the volcano. Um, that was pretty fun. It was a very affordable um, excursion, too. I think we paid like $80, $90 for a private transfer to for a private round trip because you can go for cheaper but you will be on like a big old tour bus and that mean you gotta wait while they drop off different people at different locations and that was a negative so we did the private tour there and i think it was like 20 colombian pesos per person to get in and that's like ten dollars or something like that i don't even think it's i don't even think it's ten dollars i think it's probably like, like eight. eight or something i don't know so we did that that was pretty good the volcano was a very good experience. Like I said, it was a very affordable excursion to go to once you stood in that long line. That went by pretty fast. I thought we would be in that line for at least about an hour. I think it probably took us like, what, 40 minutes to get up there? All right, we weren't in that line that long. And then once you get into the the volcano, you like floating. Like, it's nothing under your feet. It's nothing in there but mud. And somehow you're like floating in the mud, I guess, because it's so thick. Or whatever that you're just literally floating is nothing in there you are not standing on anything you're not grabbing on anything nothing you're just floating as you land down you just literally land on top of it and then even when they slide you across to go like to the out and you stand up you're just standing there like floating in the air but you're in the mud so then they take you, you go down and, you know, you go down to the, the sea so you can go get showered and stuff. And the ladies, they wash you off and they wash you everywhere to make sure that you ain't got no mud in nowhere left. And then after that, you're done. You can pretty much, we came back um, to the room after that. It was pouring down, raining. It was flooding. Um, when it rains here, especially in um, Cartagena, a Carthagin, I, I still need to learn the word or whatever. It looked like Venice. It literally floods. But when we got back to the room, we then wanted to go have brunch at um at um Townhouse and Townhouse does unlimited brunch and mimosas and Bloody Marys and everything. It starts at like eleven and it ends at three. We didn't get there till like two. So uh let's recap that. Do you feel alive? Look in my eyes. We both know it's wrong, but you're still coming over. Even when you're gone, that feeling just grows stronger. She'll leave it alone, but you're still getting closer. We both know it's wrong. Can't keep this for long. All this going on. enjoyed it even more if we could have got there a little earlier because by the time we got there we literally didn't have anything unlimited like we had the meal one time like we shouldn't even been charged for two unlimited people because we only the meal they only gave it to us once so we had each thing one time they at least could have brought out two 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 and two then i would have felt like we both had the food or whatever then he ordered more food like we was gonna eat all that so we ended up leaving with it and then after that we went over to the mall and the mall because we was looking for pandora and he needed a case for his phone 
And I needed to go to MAC because I needed an angle brush so I can do my brows. I was looking for an angle brush and a face brush because when I went to MAC in the mall, they didn't... Th when I went in the airport, they was out of the face brush and an angle brush. When I looked up the mall here, I seen that they had a MAC in there. And that was probably the only, like, little makeup store that I could see. So we went back in there for an eyebrow brush and... A face brush but they didn't have a, a foundation brush so I just got the angle brush and yeah I just used the beauty blender for my foundation so uh, we were in the mall <laughs> here and then after we caught the taxi back over here that was pretty much it we just uh walked around and just sit downstairs so now we're back in the room and we have reservations to go to this little club called delirium and we hear mixed reviews about it we hear that it's fun it plays music but it's also where like the prostitutes be at and stuff in the they say the passport bros being there to pick up the women or whatever. You know, people is very intrigued with these passport bros and all this other stuff. But we heard that that's like the club to go to if you want to hear music and stuff like that. But um, if you come like as a single person or like, like on a solo trip or like just girls, like a girl trip and it's black girls or whatever, they they be like, don't go there, but... I don't know. Everyone on TikTok says go to Delirium. So we're going to Delirium and we're going to see what that's all about. And then we have to be up super early in the morning because we're going on a boat tour. And yeah, we have to be downstairs at 8. So yeah, it's been really good. It is raining season in Columbia. So it is raining off and on, off and on, off and on here. But we're still enjoying it and we're still being, a being able to do you know everything that i wanted to do so yeah i did pick up some stuff from the store so i did go to pandora and i did get my charm my colombian charm i don't know if i showed y'all the charms when she was showing them to us i just got the one and it has the little colombian lady on there and it says um colombia in the front i don't even know if it says I think it just says Columbia. Yeah, it just says Columbia in the front and on the back it has Pandora. So that's pretty much it. And then I went to Aldo and from Aldo they had these shades that I thought was super cute. Look at these. They look I know. I yeah. thought they were so cute. So I got these shades that I thought was really cute. Um, they had a pack of these. They had a pack of rings. And these rings came in a large. So I was like, okay, cool. And I have them on. They actually fit like on my fingers and stuff like that. So I was like, had to get those. This one doesn't fit. But I would wear that anyway. And then in Pandora, they had some earrings and I thought these were super cute babe look I thought these was cute these pine trees and then they had these and I thought these was cute these little pink and gold ones. so I got that from from Pandora no from Aldo and then 
I also got my shot glass from off of the street corner. It says Columbia and it also has Cartagena on there. So yeah. No, you know, I always have to get a shot glass, a Pandora charm, and I make sure I keep me one of the little currencies. And that's pretty much what I collect. But yeah, right now it's seven at night. And yeah, we don't have reservations to the delirium place to 10. So we could just pretty much chill. I probably go see what I'm going to wear or whatever. And I probably uh, pull out whatever it is that I'm going to wear tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to rest a little bit, watch YouTube, and I'll pick the camera back up a little later. What's up? Good morning, y'all. We are, we have 30 minutes to be ready for, to be downstairs for our ride. So, I just finished washing my face right now. I thought he had opened our house last night so they could be expanded and dry today. But he didn't. He just looked at them. So these are like the disposable towels and you just wet them a little bit and then you just open them up and then you let them air dry. So the, so the next day you would have a towel to take and they pretty thick and good. We use them in DR, so they work. They they work pretty good. I don't think they're gonna be dry by the time we leave here, though. But I'm pretty much ready. I just have to brush my teeth. Wait, wrong water. We're not using that water. I'm not really sure if you can drink or use a water or not, but I've been using this bottle of water for to brush my teeth. So they didn't tell us not to. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair on the weekend here. Cause like I said, we ain't got that long. Like 20 minutes. So I have to space this out. 10 for my makeup, 10 to get dressed. All right, that's pretty much it for that. Here's our outfits. We're doing the matchy matchy thing. And yeah, they came from Icon Swim. But yeah, this is pretty much the fit. But now, I gotta go get ready. We out here. We waiting to get on our excursion. Y'all like my glasses? These fly, huh? These cute, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got them from Aldo, and he was hating on me yesterday. Yeah. But we waiting to get on our pole. We got on our matching outfits again. We didn't even get our pictures. I said, but um, yeah. What what a damn excursion! Oh, y'all, because you know we just got this lady six hundred thousand Colombian pesos. So where you at, ma'am? Make sure we get on our boat. Watch her ass. Did you put on deodorant? Cause I did and I forgot. Damn, yeah, I always put it. I forgot. Goddamn. We're gonna be musty today. Damn. Oh, I gotta get one of these. Uh... <laughs> Side tour guy. I keep thinking somebody's trying to snatch me. <laughs> I keep thinking somebody's trying to snatch my purse. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, we're going to get on a boat. You been that far? She got some baked chicken back there. What did I see about this baked chicken this lady got on back here? It smell good. Mm. I ain't getting no breakfast. That baked chicken looking a little good in that bucket. <laughs> Y'all, so this is supposed to be like where they have a party at. So I'm guessing like today is um, Tuesday. No, today is Monday. So I'm guessing it don't be lit on Mondays. Because when I was looking it up yesterday and I was looking at Snapchat, baby, this thing was packed. It was people everywhere. It was boats pulled all up everywhere. It was people all in the water, out here partying in the water. But I'm guessing today, it ain't the day. You must got to do this on a Friday, like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I would say if y'all do plan to do this, make sure it's a, you, you book Shalom on a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday because those days seem to have been lit. But right now we're just out here. Ain't no boats out here or nothing. So, yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Street food! He probably did that bitch back the truck. Yeah, he got it. I ain't gonna hold you if he would have said freak. I would have given it to you. What's up, y'all?
y'all. I'm back. I know it seems like I haven't been talking out here. Because I haven't. I've just been enjoying, you know, the trip or whatever. So, I'm hoping and I'm getting as much footage as I can. But I did. I am making an itinerary. So, if you visit here and you come or whatever, you will be able to look at the itinerary. So, but yeah, today was a... Today was a good day. You know, we woke up, we went to the islands, we went to the Rosario Islands and Shalom, which is where they have like a party at in the water. So we went there. A lot of the stuff you do, you gotta wake up early in the morning. So we be missing breakfast. So we don't be eating it until like the afternoon because <laughs> Even when you wake up to go to the, the 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 volcano, like that is early. If you want to go to Bora Bora, that is early. Like everything is super early in the morning. Well, the, the volcano, you can kind of go when you want. But if you don't want to be in a long, 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 long line. You want to go early. Oh. So yeah, now it is 7.30. We're going to attempt to try to get ready, like, really fast. I personally think the best days to come, depending on, like, what you're trying to do. I We came on a Saturday. Yeah, we came on a Saturday and we're leaving on a Wednesday. But I personally think these is one of those type of places that... You should come maybe on a like on a Thursday or a Friday as your arriving day, cause a lot of the at least a Friday, cause a lot of the stuff happens like when it's fun happens on Saturday and Sunday, so yeah, you able to enjoy like a lot of the brunches. And like the bottomless and like all of that and a lot of like the, the beach parties beach clubs and stuff be on a saturday with my makeup i threw this on super fast like super fast <laughs> super fast I'll go downstairs wash my hands so i can get dressed all right, this is uh, my outfit for tonight. Since he's wearing black, I'm wearing this dress with those heels and his shirt. And then I'm gonna pull me out some jewelry from here. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I mean, I don't know what you're wearing, but yeah. I can just lose and miss the moment. You just do more than nobody, nobody like you do, you do. I'm tired right with you, I feel like Scarface The white bitch with the bob, I be your main one This tape, this argument back up to my place Sex remind you, I'm not violent, I'm your day one We had she, yeah, it was magic, yeah Smash and grab she, yeah Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here Ain't a home when you're not here But the grow when you're not here, I'm saying I can lose when I'm with you I oh, this is uh hey y'all happy Tuesday this is our last day here today we're going to Bora Bora Beach Club so we're going to like a little beach club to relax and stuff like that so we're getting ready now so we can be get a taxi to go to the port so uh so we can be there so right now i'm just about to do my brows and stuff and then get dressed and then i'll be ready hmm. this is the outfit for today i got this set from pretty little things and this swimsuit just a something to go under it from forever 21 my hat that i got yesterday i like this hat and then just a bag and some flip-flops and some little clear jewelry. That's my water jewelry. So that's what I'm about to do. This is what I'm wearing. 
Y'all, so we in this long ass line to go to Bora Bora, right? So the bit, the line long than a motherfucker. Like it's all the way in there, in there, in there. So we standing in line. And it's a puddle of water in front of me. So when the people in front of me move up, I decide I don't want to move up because I don't want to stand in the water. I'm going to wait until, you know, the line get a little farther up so I can go past the water. So I'm going to have to stand in. He goes, oh, move up. I said, no, I don't want to move up because I don't want to stand in the water. So he takes his high yellow ass and he moves up and go around me. So That's then, not why I moved up. Shut up. That is why you moved up. So then, the ladies behind me, they get ready to move up. And I said, oh no. I said, no, I'm still standing here. I'm just waiting. And she goes, oh, well, all right, bitch. All right, bitch. So then I had to mush her motherfucking ass with my fucking elbow like this and get your ass back. And she was like, oh my, you <laughs> And then yeah, he gonna go, yeah, oh, fault. that's they fault. Cause yeah, they shouldn't have tried to fault. move because no, I no. moved. And I had to tell him, it's a line. If I don't want to move up, I don't have to move up. Regardless, we still have to stand in the line. So. Nah, I should still be trying to debo people. No, I don't be trying to debo people. What I'm saying is, if you're behind me in line, and it's still a line of people in front of us, whether I move up each time the people in front of me move up, don't matter. Cause bitch, we're still in line. Now, it'd be different if the if the counter is available and I'm not moving up or something like that. But, bitch, so he gonna tell me I'm being mean. The fuck? Now she got mushed. She done assaulted assault somebody. I did not know. assault that lady. Talk she technically good. moved Talk in front of me. It's my fault. She shouldn't have followed It's me. his fault because good he should have stayed his ass behind. <laughs> But on the other side, and it's like a different atmosphere on the other side too. It's kind of like a little club over there. But we had both sides, so yeah. 
Well, yeah, we about to get ready because they can take this hour ride back because it's like 50 minutes to get back to the port. We'll see y'all when we get there. day party thing and we have showered and changed clothes we went outside to go find the ladies to take the my picture with them you know the little infamous picture that everyone takes with the ladies of Cartagena so we found them down the way took a picture with them <laughs> And then we came back. Now we're just laying here. We got dinner reservations at 9.30. So we're just laying here waiting, you know, on their reservations. I'm probably going to watch some YouTube while we wait well until it's time but yeah that pretty much the Bora Bora day thing was pretty cool um we had I would say mm, the fish oh my god that fish that we had there was so good like <laughs> I've never even eaten a fish with the head on it like ever in life I always was was intimidated. Like, no. Please take the head off. I don't even like shrimp with the head on it. But. I was fucking that for sure. To be honest with y'all. I ain't really just found no fire food here. We didn't went to restaurants. We didn't have the street food. Every time I eat empanadas, they different and they nasty. <laughs> I don't be liking that rice. Every time they give me the rice, it's cold. I done had rice three different times and it was cold each time. We got another restaurant tonight. So, we'll see what that one's about. But brought my own pineapple juice. Every time I ask for pineapple juice, they give you real pineapple juice, like, from out the fruit. Like, mushed up. And I like all the boutiques on there, but this bed is uncomfortable. The goddamn bed at the damn, the cabana was softer than this. I was about to fall asleep on the cabana bed. I think I damn near did for like a few seconds. And then the boat came. But yeah. I'll be back. A little later. When it's time for us to go to dinner. Here is the outfit of the night. Outfit of the night. Yep. Cute little two-piece set. I'm gonna wear it with these non wets go shoes in my Amazon bag, some jewelry, and yeah, that's the fit. <laughs>
Well, it's actually departure day. We're actually getting ready to get up out of here. Um, all my stuff is pretty much packed up. I just came upstairs to do me some airport makeup and then pack up my makeup. And yeah, put it up and then we'll be ready. We should be done around in about the next 30 minutes. We should be done in here and then we'll have an hour before we're ready to go to the airport so we'll be able to get some breakfast and um yeah pretty much get some breakfast and then get up out of here columbia has been a good experience um i did enjoy this trip very much I got to do everything that I wanted to do. Except we never did go to the club. We never did go to the the delirium club. No, neither. No, no. We never went. But then again, it always seemed to like be raining at that time too. Last night it wasn't raining, but... I really didn't want to go on a Wednesday. Like, if we was going to go, it was going to be a Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. We ate at all of the hot restaurants. Like, all of the the restaurants, the go-to restaurants that we were supposed to go to. And none of the restaurants was given for me. So, I don't know. And they usually like anything. So, for him to not like food is, is not normal. Because he would eat the wildest shit and be like, it's good, huh? You know? And he was even like, he just didn't have no bomb food. And we didn't just eat restaurant food, too. We was eating street food, too. So, I, I just... Uh, I ain't see it, so I don't know. The best thing I I had was the fish here, not uh, the 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 whole fish that they gave us, like at the outings, like at the excursions and stuff. That 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 fish was good. The fish I had last night was huge, 
and it was so dry. It was not seasoned. It was nothing like the damn fish that I had out, you know, at the other islands and stuff. So that sucked because I should have just got the steak. And I was gonna get the steak. But I caught myself, you know, getting damn that was a lot. Of, I've never had the fish with the head on it. Like my parent, my mom, my daddy used to eat that a lot, but I I didn't do it because I didn't like that the head and the eyeballs was looking at me. But bruh, that fish was good. Just gonna finish up my makeup. I'll put my itinerary that we had went by right here. So well, um, we actually have two different flights because y'all know that Bay is in school in Atlanta. So he's flying back to Atlanta and I'm flying back to Chicago. So we have different rocks that we're taking, but our flights are almost kind of around the same time. We have a long layover. Cause that's all we could find. I have a seminar tonight anyway, so for school, cause my next class starts today. So I have a seminar anyway, so hopefully I can get online. Flight number 1707 with service to Orlando, Florida. Two hours and 46 minutes is our flight time from wheels up to touchdown. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm currently st still in or in Orlando because when we landed in Orlando, it was bad weather. So my flight end up to Chicago ended up getting canceled. First it was delayed, then it was delayed, and then finally they just canceled the flight. So, <laughs> it was so many people would cancel flights. Like, by the time I got from the international side through customs and everything, everybody had already been rebooked on all the flights, the, the flights to Chicago tomorrow, the spirit flights to Chicago tomorrow. So, I ended up on the 6 o'clock that night, tomorrow night flight. And I was like, no, 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 no. Because the, the, the 9 a.m., the 12 a.m., the what, everything a.m. flight was booked by the time I was ready to get rebooked. So, so, um, I... So, since it was weather, you know, Spirit ain't giving you no hotel or nothing like that because it was due to weather. So, you basically just get a new flight tomorrow. But me, my flight ain't to 6 o'clock the next day at night. So, what I'm going to do? So, I, um, first I called Southwest Airlines. Well, first I called American to see did they have any, um military flights and they didn't have any so i was like okay boom let me go and call southwest because southwest always gonna have a military fight about a hundred dollars you know what i'm saying so boom kyle southwest was like hey y'all got any military affairs going to chicago she's like yep got one for tomorrow nine o'clock a.m for a hundred dollars boom let me get that one so then i needed to book a hotel so, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but they have things online called Day Use, and they also have one called Hotel Tonight. Day Use is like if you just need a hotel for that day, like for a few hours. I normally do that, like, 
like sometimes when I'm in, like if I'm at home and I want to be in Chicago for the day and it, and it involves me like changing clothes or something like that, I will book a day use and it's usually from like 10 a.m. to like 4 or 1 to 11 o'clock at night. It really just depends on the hotel and the times. So that's a day use. They have day use hotels all throughout the whatever but then they have one that's called hotel tonight and that's just so you can get a hotel that night get one of their rooms that wasn't booked up and you just check out the next day at regular checkout time so i went on hotel tonight and they had the hill they had the the holiday the hotel right outside of the orlando airport they had it for like 70 dollars but then I decided to call them and ask them, you know, what was their travel agent rate? And they was like $50. So I was like, okay, give me the $50 rate, the travel agent rate. <laughs> the fuck? So, and so, yeah. So I end up staying and I check out in the morning to catch my flight. And then I also get my money back from from the, the spirit flight that I did get on. So it is what it is. I won't make it to work. I won't make it to work tomorrow, but fuck it. I see the ass Friday. <laughs> Shit, I see the ass on Friday. It is what the fuck it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much right now. Right now, my new class started, which is accounting, and we're having our first seminar because, like I said, class started today. So, we're in a seminar right now. So, I'm just listening to the teacher talk. Or whatever and then yeah i'ma catch me some z's and i'll see y'all tomorrow hopefully it's no weather it's nothing crazy and i'm able to get on my flight and then get into chicago and then get to my house because lord this is a mess so yeah i see i'm here looking like crazy but i'm on my way to board my flight i got on the same clothes from yesterday period i don't give a fuck and i'ma see y'all when i land in chicago Oh, I didn't know it was a hotel right in the goddamn airport. I could have stayed here. My slow ass. Higher Regency. I could have been right in the damn airport. Oh, but look, this line. Yep, I'm about to go straight to the clear line. Hmm. But good morning, y'all. I am in the airport. I'm already checked in and heading to clear. And yeah. Yeah, it's a P. Turn me up.